Clues from the Past by Jonathan Curley and Ashley Chase, read by Miss Mulatto. This book is from the Amplify Science 4th grade unit, Earth's Features. I felt like a mouse looking up at the giant leg of an elephant. That's what Rodolfo Correa remembers about his first look at Argentinosaurus, a dinosaur he helped discover. Rodolfo Correa is a scientist who studies dinosaurs. He lives in Argentina, a country in South America. The dinosaurs Correa studies are extinct. There are none left on Earth. To study dinosaurs, Correa has to make inferences. An inference is something he figures out by putting together what he can observe and what he already knows. This photo shows Rodolfo Correa observing a fossil in Argentina. Correa can't observe living dinosaurs, but he can observe fossils of dinosaurs. Fossils are imprints or parts of animals, plants, and other organisms that have been preserved in rock. Fossils can be found millions of years after an organism died. These fossils come from organisms that were trapped in sediment at the bottom of a shallow ocean. Sediment turned into sedimentary rock, and the organisms turned into fossils. Fossils are usually found in a certain type of rock, sedimentary rock. To understand fossils, we need to look at how sedimentary rock forms from sediment. Sediment is made up of sand, mud, and tiny bits of rock. When organisms die, sometimes their bodies can become trapped in sediment. Sediment sinks through water and builds up on the bottom of lakes, rivers, oceans, and other watery environments. Over time, more and more sediment builds up and pushes down on the sediment below it. 2. The sediment at the bottom starts to compact or press together. As the sediment compacts, all the tiny bits of sand and rock begin to cement or stick to one another. 3. The sediment compacts and cements to form a large, flat layer of sedimentary rock. Over many years, that layer gets thicker as more sediment compacts and cements. You can't see sedimentary rock forming because it takes a very, very long time. It takes much longer for a rock layer to form than you have been alive. In fact, it can take much longer than even the oldest person you know has been alive. Remember that sediment can cover organisms' bodies. As the sediment slowly turns to rock, the hard parts of the organisms' bodies can get preserved in rock. Over time, they become fossils. These fossils are stuck inside sedimentary rock layers. The body of this small animal was trapped in sediment. It is now a fossil. Plants can form fossils too. This is a leaf fossil. Fossils can also form when an organism makes a mold in sediment. For example, when a shelled organism gets stuck in mud, its shell makes a mark on the mud. Over time, the shell breaks down and its mark is left behind in the mud. After a very long time, the mud becomes sedimentary rock, with the mark of the shell frozen in time. These pieces of a fossil tree were found in Argentina, where Rodolfo Correa lives and works. This is the mold of a shell. The shape of the shell was pressed into the mud long ago. Over time, the mud compacted and cemented to become rock. Now, the mold is a fossil. Rodolfo Correa works with other scientists to study fossils. By observing fossils, Correa and other scientists can make inferences about organisms from long ago. On the day he helped discover Argentinosaurus, Correa was out in the desert in Argentina. 
he was working with another scientist to dig up fossil bones. Gurria knows a lot about bones. He can observe the shape of a bone and infer what kind of dinosaur it came from. He can also infer where the bone belonged in the dinosaur skeleton. He can infer whether it's a leg bone, a neck bone, or a different kind of bone. This artwork shows what Argentinosaurus may have looked like. It is based on inferences. Correa observed the shapes and sizes of the fossil bones he had found. They looked similar to fossils from large dinosaurs that had been found before. Correa could infer that the bones were taken from the lower leg and backbone of a dinosaur. He could also infer the dinosaur was big and walked on four legs. Correa and the scientist he was working with named the dinosaur Argentinosaurus after their country. It was a type of dinosaur no one had known about before. Only a few fossil bones remain from Argentinosaurus. However, Correa observed that these fossils looked similar to other fossils he had studied. Scientists have found whole fossil skeletons from other big dinosaurs similar to Argentinosaurus. Correa used what he knew about these other dinosaur fossils to help him make inferences about Argentinosaurus. For example, the other big dinosaurs ate plants. Correa could infer that Argentinosaurus also ate plants. This diagram shows the skeleton of Argentinosaurus. The shaded bones are the ones that were found. Correa had to make inferences about what the other bones were like. This dinosaur skeleton is much more complete than the skeleton of Argentinosaurus that was found. Skeletons like this one helped m make inferences about Argentinosaurus. How did scientists figure out that big dinosaurs like Argentinosaurus ate plants? They made inferences about that too. Scientists have found fossil skulls from some of these dinosaurs. The skulls have teeth with similar shapes to those of plant-eating animals that are alive today, such as horses. Scientists can infer that the dinosaur's teeth were good for eating plants. This is the fossil skull of a large dinosaur similar to Argentinosaurus. It had teeth with flat ends, which you can see better here. This is the skull of a horse. Horses also have teeth with flat ends. They use their flat-ended teeth to eat plants. And here are the horse teeth that have flat ends. The lower leg and backbone fossils from Argentinosaurus were larger than any similar bones that have been found. By measuring these fossils and comparing them to other fossils, Correa was able to infer that Argentinosaurus would have been about 38 meters, 125 feet, long. That was longer than any other dinosaur that had ever been found before. Over the years, Correa continued to make new inferences about Argentinosaurus. He and other scientists have worked together to infer how Argentinosaurus might have moved. They used observations of Argentinosaurus fossils. They used what they knew about how elephants and other large animals moved today. They inferred that Argentinosaurus would have walked slowly. This huge dinosaur could not ha have run fast. The model on the right, this one, represents a dinosaur about the size of T-Rex. The much bigger model on the left represents Argentinosaurus. Correa and other scientists will keep looking for new fossils. They will keep making observations and inferences, working to learn more about dinosaurs. Glossary, cement, to stick together in the process of forming rock.
compact, to press together. Environment, all the living and non-living things in an area. Fossil, a clue about life from the past that is preserved in rock. Infer, to figure something out based on observations and what you already know. Inference, something you figure out based on observations and what you already know. Model, something scientists make to answer questions about the real world. Observations, something you notice using any of the five senses. Observe, to use any of the five senses to gather information about something. Organism, a living thing such as a plant or animal. Rock layer, a thick sheet of rock formed from the same material. Sediment, a small piece of rock such as silt or sand. Sedimentary rock, a type of rock formed from sediment that compacts and cements over time.